work. I'm getting the hang of this. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're talking about I'm thinking them. I always move backwards on this camera. All right. So we we were kind of talking about some blues vamps in the key of C with a blues thing. Now, why don't you play the blues groove, Tom, that you had in C? That you were kind of. So on the A fret, we do we can take a little F shape like this and. all done with that F shape with the uh, at the uh, eighth position there with the like we had a bar chord on here but we're going to just part and then we had another one down here at the fifth position which is the when we bar cross in an A bar then an A shape here on the fourth third and second strings and we put down it what is like an A minor looking shape there with the uh, fourth string at the ninth, at the rather seventh fret with the third finger and the second string at the sixth fret with the, with the second finger. And we can play the open uh, C chord and then we put these two down in that A minor seven shape. Then we go up to uh, one fret up on the fourth string which is the eighth fret and we still are, have our index finger back on the fifth fret, which is kind of a stretch for me. But and then the little finger on the eighth fret of the second string. So it's from this, it goes to to that, and back to this. And you can do things like this. So you can kind of slide your slide into the fifth fret with that bar and then another one we had was uh, um, you know all the things you can do out of this we didn't really touch on this but you can also put like a G7 looking thing on this while you're on that bar or the G shapes kind of G and the G7 set and then the other one we talked about was doing on the fifth string sliding up from the fifth to the seventh fret and, and then we can play the seventh fret on that fourth string too and get and then get the seven down here with the little finger on the fourth string eighth fret all that's on fourth string and then fifth string Minor, the minor, the minor. So if we, um, yeah, it's a Doobie Brothers type of thing. So if we're playing in that, in the G minor jam that you were showing me, well, what one thing that we can always do is, is to get another voicing of that G minor. We go up here and do this uh, on the fifth string. This is G minor, and this is a G here, tenth fret, uh, fifth string. And then we put these this A minor shape back on here that we just looked at a little bit earlier. A minor seven, I should say. It's not an A minor shape. It's an A minor seven. And and so we can go, you know, when you're playing the G, and you can hammer on it if you want. So. Once in a while, I'm just putting my little finger down on that uh, 
on the uh, 13th fret yeah, here, seven, which would yeah. be basically let, yeah, just another, yeah. another another seven, exactly. Yeah. And that's a seven, there's the G, and that's an F, which is the seven. So, is that it? You, Jimmy, you want me to throw Jimi Hendrix on here? Um, yeah. At the ninth fret, and it's another one of those yeah. hands. That we call, we'll refer to this because we both kind of recognize it as a Doobie Brothers thing from this. It's a Pesavik Freddy. And the Jimi Hendrix one is at the ninth fret, and it's the same kind of hammer on thing. And it's a little more fancy, he goes. Again, like we did on the C down here. Okay, so there's a lot of that style, and Jimmy had explained it, it sounds like this fast. So, all right, that's good enough. That's enough for me. 